Hello, Forrest. <laughs> Hello, Seamus. Happy Wednesday. Happy Wednesday. So, uh, I got a question. Yeah. What the hell do you do for a living? What do I do for a living? Because, uh, you know, us independent employees are independent workers, the people who own our own businesses. We don't do anything. We just sit around all day, right? right. It's the sweet life. Yeah. Now it's, um... So here's what I do for a living. Thank you for asking. Yeah. Um, I am a witch for a living, uh, and my particular craft is uh, it takes the form of magical and ritual oils and candles. Um, I started my business in 2012. It's called Nui Cobalt Designs, NUI, which is a Hawaiian word for the great. So it's the great blue. The great blue. My hair was blue at the time. Oh, okay. Yeah. It was actually a real off the cuff name, but I kept it. Uh, and I started out making magical and ritual jewelry by hand. Sure. Super fun, uh, really great for a while, but you can only make that stuff so fast. And I was also having to charge uh, hundreds of dollars per piece, which in times like ours just doesn't feel ethically okay with me. I don't want people to have uh, access to that magic only if they have hundreds of dollars of extra money to be able to throw away on things that aren't necessarily necessities. So, um, after a wonderful talk with you. <laughs> <laughs> You're blaming me. Oh yeah, it's, it's actually his fault, guys. Um, I decided to shift gears and take that magical practice into a different form. We had already started making candles and they were doing really well and they were much more affordable. And the magical intention was right in there, right in the beeswax or the soy, whichever we were using. But I was also really really into perfume, into um, fragrance oils, perfume oils. You know those conjure oils that are ubiquitous around New Orleans, uh, hoodoo and conjure work, um, come to me oil, love me oil, bitch be gone oil. I mean, those are, I love them so much and I've always been into aromatherapy and perfumery. Well, I decided to make a job out of it uh, and uh, you helped encourage me to do that. So now it's 2021 and that is my full-time job it's also my husband's full-time job and so it keeps the roof over our head which I'm really lucky about um, here's how it works there is an intention that is magical I have uh, a basic knowledge of I've been practicing magic for 30 years or more I'm 46 so however long that is uh, and the magical intention is like correspondences like uh, Seamus was talking about you know there's certain oils, certain plants, certain colors that are corresponding to a certain type of magical working, days of the week, astrological events, things that you can layer onto your practice and focus into your intention and make that oil magical. Um, they also happen to smell really nice, if I do say so myself. And uh, so scent design is a big part of that too. I, I really love exploring unusual scents, scents that Go ahead. Well, that's something that you do that's above and beyond a lot of conjure oils. Like like most of the time, conjure oils are some of the time, conjure oils are just made to do the job. Right. But yours is not only made to be functional and, and utilities for witchcraft or, or magic, uh -huh. but they smell really good above and beyond that. Thank you. I'm glad you think so. Um, yeah, it was, it was important to me that you enjoy what you have on when you're using your magical oils and they're on your body or on your candle or wafting around in your home, that that's a, a scent that, that really appeals to you and feels good to be around. Um, also, I was very interested in creating scents that weren't the usual thing. You know, it wasn't gonna smell like Chanel number no. five, it was gonna smell like being out in the woods in late August when things are, th you know, when things are just starting to get a little bit chilly and you might see one or two yellow leaves. Like that, capturing moments mm -hmm. was really important to me too because in magic, a lot of what we do is seasonal and we align ourselves and our workings with what's going on in nature around us. So that's really exciting about it. And finally, what I have going on right now, since we do seasonal limited edition runs, my next collection will be coming out at the end of this month. This is August of, no, this is July. This is July of 2021. And uh, the next one we're releasing is called Witches Utility Blends. This is very much based in the, the New Orleans hoodoo type of, this is just an oil to get something done, but it happens to smell really good too. Um, some of the items that we're addressing are peace within the home. 
um, calling up power and ferocity within the self, um, walking with confidence in the world and feeling a sense of presence and power and autonomy and authority. So I've been I've been playing with a lot of things that I think in a in a world that has gone through a literal plague, um, some of the loving support that we could all use from a magical perspective. So that's what I do for a job. That's what I'm doing for a job right now. And I hope that you enjoy our work. Thank you so much for listening. I'll talk to you next week.